guys. So it is back to school time and I know not everyone is excited about going back to school but you can make school a little bit more fun with your makeup. So today I'm going to be showing you how to do this purple look that I'm wearing right now. It's natural but it's still fun because you're adding a little bit of color to your eyes and purple is great to brighten up your eye area if you're using a really light lilac color like an icy lilac color I just discovered that recently and I absolutely love this trick and if you have brown eyes this is like a little bonus because purple looks amazing on brown eyes and I have brown eyes and purple purple just complements brown beautifully so I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and let's go ahead and jump into everything so I already have a base on. This is the Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua Foundation in the color B20. This is my favorite foundation and if you guys want to see a review on this, I will link it down below in the description bar. The first thing I'm going to be using on my eyes is this Makeup Forever Aqua Cream Eyeshadow in the color number 18, which is a really pretty lilac color that will help brighten up your eye area. So I just have a little bit of the cream eyeshadow on my finger and I'm just going to apply it all over my lid and I'm going to make sure to get it right in the inner corner because that's what you really want to highlight with the light purple color because that's what's going to brighten up your eye area. So just put this all over the lid and this is also going to be a base for the eyeshadows. So it'll help any powder that we put on stick really well. Now I'm going to be using a Naked Cosmetics eye pigment in the color Cabernet Blush. This is also a very light lilac color and I'm just going to use a flat shader brush like this to apply it. And I'm going to concentrate this eyeshadow on the inner two thirds of my lid and on the inner corner. So just bring it up and out, up and out, <laughs> up and out, <laughs> up and out. And then you can also bring a little bit down below on your lower lash line. For a little bit of definition in the crease, I'm going to be using Max Quarry eyeshadow, which is a brown with a purple undertone, so it works really well for this look. And I'm going to apply it with a crease brush that looks like this. So I'm just going to put this on the outer corner and in the crease. And you want to make sure that you're blending it out here at the edge. Now I'm going to be using my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. And this is like a peachy gold color and it's shimmery. And I'm just going to apply this with my finger. So I'm going to use this as a highlight on my brow bone. And just kind of blend it in with the MAC Quarry color, just using your fingers. Then I'm going to use this dark matte brown color from the Bobbi Brown Modern Classic palette, but this is also in her permanent line. The color is called Espresso, and I'm going to be using this as an eyeliner and applying it with an angled eyeshadow brush. So I'm just going to press this into my upper lash line, and this is going to make your lashes look fuller and thicker, but it also looks very natural, so it's not as harsh as traditional eyeliner. And if you want a little bit more definition on your lower lash line, you can just take whatever is left over on your brush and just kind of pat it in. And then you can smudge it out a little bit with your finger. Now to really open up your eyes, you're going to want to curl your eyelashes. And for mascara, I'm going to be using the Fairy Drops Mascara, which is waterproof, so it won't smudge and it'll stay on all day. So I'm just going to apply this to my top lashes. And I love this mascara because, first of all, it's Japanese, and the Japanese know what they're doing when it comes to mascara. This makes your lashes long and thick and it doesn't smudge and it holds a curl remarkably well. Now for my bottom lashes, I like to use another mascara. This is the Majolica Majorca Lash Expander Frame Plus Mascara. And this is also another waterproof mascara, but this brush is amazing for your lower lashes. So that's why I use two different mascaras on my lashes. But if you don't want to do that, you don't have to.
So this brush is able to get right in here in the corner and you can get all those little baby lashes. For blush, I'm going to be using my Jouer Blush in Blossom, which is my all-time favorite blush. It's the perfect peachy pink color. And I'm going to be using a blush brush like this to apply it. So I'm just gonna smile to find the apples of my cheeks and then just dust it on. For bronzer, I'm going to be using my Laura Geller Blush and Brighten in Honey Dipped and a big fluffy brush like this to apply it. Okay, so I'm going to be using the 3B technique to apply this. So up here in my temples, and then down a little bit on my cheeks, and then along my jawline. And then just so everything blends nicely, just bring a little bit down on your neck. And then last but not least, I'm going to be using my Jouer Lip Gloss in Wind. And I love this color because it is the perfect nude. So I'm just going to put this on my lips. Do a nice little. And there we go. Alrighty, so this is the finished look. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial with all the different angles and everything. And if you guys would like to see me wearing this look in a music video, I did a music video with Luke and that is over on his channel. So I will link the video here and you guys can go and check it out. We did a cover of Two Is Better Than One by Boys Like Girls featuring Taylor Swift. It's an amazing song and I had so much fun doing it. So make sure you go and watch that video and subscribe to Luke while you're there. And other than that, I will see you all later, and I hope you all are having a fabulous day. Bye! Cause everything you do in words you say, you know that it all takes my breath away, and now I'm left with nothing. So maybe it's true.